You've likely heard of catfishing, even if you haven't experienced it. It's when someone creates a fake identity online to appear as someone else. But the food world has taken on this trend in a different way, and consumers are starting to take notice. Fox 13's investigative consumer reporter, Robin Aguinye, tells us more about virtual restaurants. Want food but don't want to go out? No problem. Food delivery apps make it super easy for you to get your favorite cuisines from practically any restaurant. Thank you. But how do you know that the food you're ordering is actually from the restaurant you order it from? Thanks to this viral Twitter thread, many of you are commiserating over what can be dubbed as a fast food fallacy. Some calling certain food delivery app eateries fake. This customer thought she was ordering pho from a Vietnamese restaurant. A quick Google search told her she was ordering from a Cajun seafood spot. Or this befuddled buyer who ordered from Chase Elliott chicken tenders, only to find hooters at her door. And there are many other stories like it. So what gives? This article from the New York Post highlights a New York bodega that goes by 26 different names across many food delivery apps. I talked to the Consumer Federation of America's Director of Food Policy about this pandemic era practice that's continued well beyond 2020. Virtual restaurants, not to be confused with ghost kitchens. Ghost kitchens have a separate kitchen crew renting existing space, preparing food for an online delivery service. Virtual restaurants are a traditional brick and mortar eatery that may use different names across delivery apps to attract more customers. It was thought to bring more revenue when businesses were struggling during the early days of COVID. Consumers deserve the same information, whether they're making a purchase online or at a brick and mortar retailer. And that's where the Consumer Federation of America notes this could get tricky. Grimion says virtual restaurants could be misleading to consumers, knowing that customers who are familiar with a restaurant's brand may not want to purchase food from them because of that familiarity. I came across this with DoorDash in Salt Lake City. Look, here's Burger Den and The Meltdown. I'd never heard of either. Google them. You see they share the same addresses, along with Denny's. I'm a fan of a Grand Slam any day, but what if you're not? How do you track issues with your food if you don't know where your food came from? When you have the customer reviews available and, and clearly linked to, to one establishment, uh, customers get a better idea of, of when a uh, locale is selling low quality or, or even unsafe food. So there's, there's an element of accountability that's lost when the same restaurant is uh, putting itself out there under 20 different names. I reached out to three food delivery services to see what customers should know before ordering. DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Grubhub, they all sent us similar statements. DoorDash says in part, as each business has unique individual needs and growth goals, DoorDash is proud to partner with restaurants through a variety of ways, including through supporting delivery for virtual brands. Uber Eats says in part, we know delivery-only concepts are an exciting way for operators to invest in the growth of their businesses, and we've led the industry in creating quality standards for virtual restaurants. And Grubhub says in part, these concepts are just one way we help small businesses generate new revenue streams, reach more customers, and get increased exposure on Grubhub without adding any overhead cost. For diners, they get to try new cuisines while supporting restaurant tours in their communities. Currently, virtual restaurants are permissible, so if you're worried about where your food might be coming from, give Google a quick search. Buying food online, uh, we should have access to uh, health inspection ratings, like we do when, when in most cities when we, we visit a restaurant in person. Um, and we should, and needless to say, we should uh, have an accurate idea of where we're, we're purchasing from. Robin Oginye, Fox 13 News, Utah.